definitely you know getting uh, virat kohli ab de villiers in the same match is, is is like a dream for any youngster so you know uh, as i said it's it's one of the best moments of of my cricketing career especially definitely one of the biggest moments in in ipl cricket but i think it's important that you know any wicket is a big wicket obviously they come with so much of uh, a name and so much of weight with them so it, it feels that much more better but uh, i think you just need to i shouldn't be getting too ahead of myself and just stay calm myself down a little bit honestly i think it's very hard to plan a dismissal for batsmen like them um you just need to be able to bowl your best ball and uh, try and hit the best areas on on the particular wicket so you try and understand the wicket to uh, try and understand the wicket and bowl bowl your best ball so there's nothing planned as such but uh, you know uh, obviously the googly you you wanted to go through bat and pad and it happened so that that was a big plus to take back from here and uh, uh, yeah i think it's just about bowling those areas is you can't really plan honestly to someone like virat kohli and ab de villiers obviously it was great we won the t20s uh, um, as you know and uh, uh, you know you, you bring in a bit of confidence from there and uh, i i said uh, i said that earlier uh, you obviously bowling to lot lot better batsmen in in this level and uh, so you you can't really come with your shoulders puffed high and you know have have that arrogance about it because you, this this cricket, this game is going to put you in its place so you do get a little bit of confidence in but at the same time you just need to understand your game and understand the the pitch conditions for that for that moment and you know it's, it's just about that well it, you know you uh, probably if you if you played the game you would probably know that uh, uh, jofra and the fast bowlers are bowling the hardest overs in the match so you it's 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 understood that they will go for more than more than 6 7 and over they 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 will have bad days they will have bad days so i think it's more important for the guys who are having a good day to you know actually lift and pull pull a couple of them along with them uh, and t20 cricket you you will definitely go go the distance for the kind of overs that they're bowling like if you take look at jofra he's bowling two in the power play and he's bowling back in uh, 17 and 19 or 18 and 20 or whatever so he's bowling the hardest overs in the whole game so you know it's he's also human so he's going to he, he, and batsmen are so good at this level that they will be able to play some good shots but uh, if you look at it uh, if you have a plan and if they hit it through if they beat that plan i think you give it to the batsmen but uh, i think we have our plans in place and uh, yeah we could have given a little lesser runs but I, there's nothing uh, too drastic about it no i think it was based on the conditions uh, you know you you when you land up in the ground you obviously do a little bit of homework as to how the ground is and what kind of wicket you're playing and you new know, kind of opposition and everything like that so like uh, for example like gautam to bowl 3 in a in a power play it's it's not very uh, common right so uh, it's it's all based on the situation and there's nothing nothing planned as such i think it's, uh, t20 is such a fast paced game that uh, there are a lot of calls that you have to just take at at the moment so you know it was it was just part of the strategy at that moment i think it obviously varies you know you, there are some balls you attack and then you need to know how to finish an over well as, as well you need to be able to know how to give that one run away uh, but it's a mix of both you, you sometimes like if it's a new batsman you still can attack for three four balls uh, but you, it's again you just need to assess the conditions and you know uh, it, there there many times i just in between overs or whatever i i, I definitely go to ajubai smith or uh, joss and you know have a have a couple of words with them and and try and understand what they're trying to think about the game because they played so much so much more than what i have and uh, they obviously will have probably a different thought of how the games uh, in which direction it's going probably to what i have so uh, yeah you do attack and you do defend a little bit but you know it's obviously depending on the situation and depending on how many overs you have and how many balls you have left in that over